So in your browser, go ahead and just type in download core FTP, just like you see it there uh, in the browser, and uh, hit return. So either one of these FTP sites will work for you. We're going to go ahead and select on core FTP to download. We can also go straight here. So let's go ahead and hit where it says download software. So there are plenty of options here for you to download, but we're just going to download uh, this one here at uh, this site here, coreftp.com. So depending upon your browser, you're going to have save or open or execute, whatever you want. Go ahead and save this file and then open it up and do the installation. The installation is very straightforward. So just hit save and then when it downloads, click on the executable file and just take the defaults and it will download uh, the application right onto your desktop. So let's go ahead and select sites here and click on site manager. So your screen should look very similar to the following here and we're going to go ahead and give this a new name and we're just going to name it Dropbox and I know I keep using that word Dropbox. This is not the Dropbox service by the way but <clears throat> okay then you're going to need the host IP so this is going to be the IP address that you were given so that's going to be your FTP dot whatever the name of the company is dot com and that's going to be there and then uh, your username now you have anonymous here we're not going to use that so this is where you're going to put in your username so in this case it's Dropbox at and then the name of the domain my okay just like that all right and then for password you're going to put in what the password is okay and you can tell it to not save if you want, but this should work fine. And then this is all fine. Just take the default port 21 FTP, and then you just hit connect. Okay, so your screen should look something like this. This is your browser here on your local system. Remember, you can select down and see what's going on there and kind of just browse through to your directory tree and what have you. But here we're at the C, at the root of this uh, directory. This is the local hard drive. This here is the FTP site. Okay, there may be other directories in here. You can use them as well. And what we're going to do to transfer a file, now if the file was here, we'd just do this backwards. But here we're just going to drag, for example, this. And you see the plus sign there on the screen? And we're going to release it. Now if you see here at the bottom here real quick, it says queuing files, uploading files, transfer files. It doesn't take that long because the file's in z zero size. But here you can see it gives us a warning that it's zero, but it tells us that uh, we moved it. Let's find a file here that maybe actually has some content in it. Let's go ahead and just do this JPEG, this PNG file right here, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and just move this PNG file right over um, to our site again. So we're just going to drag this, drop it, and now notice here... Um, of course, I'm picking files that it, FTP can't check and things like that. But here it transferred, says it transferred these 14K over here, and everything's fine. And it can't, for file, it, it's fine. Okay? So transfer sign uh, is one second. So, so that's kind of how you move the files. And again, if we want to move this file back, for example, we just drag it over and uh, we move it back. Notice here it says where the host is and where the destination is and what the status is, things of that nature. So let's go ahead for the last thing is check the site and make sure that the file actually moved there. We'll go out on a browser to do that. So let's just do a gut check to make sure everything worked. It did. We go out to the FTP site in our browser and now we're seeing these files. Now if we want to save this file to our local drive, we're just going to say save link as and we're going to be prompted and it's going to ask us where we want to save it, right? So now we're being asked uh, where we want to save the actual file, right? And so save file to, and we just put it in and, you know, click whatever, right? And then uh, the other thing is if we want to view it, we just click on it once, and here is uh, the file itself. So that's kind of how to use um, the FTP server.